Welcome back everybody, this is Manuel Gearbox and we are in Assetto Corsa. Uh, today I was kind of like uh, watching a few documentaries about you know the good old days of Formula 1 1950s and knowing that we have the Maserati 250F in Assetto Corsa I decided why not make a video of me driving this car here in the Nordschleife here where uh, Juan Manuel Fangio actually made history driving this car in 1958 seven I think or 58 I think it was 1957 so yeah I decided I don't I'm, I've never done this before like I, I tried the car in a few laps maybe a long time ago but uh, yeah it's quite a challenge driving this car around the Norwich life uh, mainly because of those skinny tires and a cross ply tires and drum brakes uh, very little downforce in fact there is no downforce on this car so this is the this is the six uh, six cylinder engine the 2.5 six cylinder engine we have around 200 and 80 maybe 260 brake horsepower fantastic little car uh, the only adjustments I made uh, to the uh, to the setup is the gearing ratios I uh, you know made the, the the gears a little bit taller there to, uh, to accommodate the long straightaway so yeah without any further ado let's go out okay so I'm gonna skip the uh, the out lap and I'll be back when uh, I'm already on the hot lamp, okay? So I'll see you guys there. Okay, so we're on the hot lap. Let's see if we can get this baby under control. Whoa! Gotta start braking early because drum brakes are not very responsive so let's see what time of uh, lap time I can make I'm gonna try to give it as hard as I can but uh, gotta be cautious too because like I said in the intro this car doesn't have any steep almost very little grip because of those skinny cross ply tires Also gotta remember to give it a quite a big blip on the throttle every time I want to go down the first gear, because otherwise the rear tires will just lock up. And just listen to that six-cylinder engine, 2.5 liter six-cylinder. I believe this is a non-turbocharged engine. Driven by Juan Manuel Fangio. Actually won the championship in this car. Oh, you hear those rear tires locking up. Got to give it a little bit more blip there and downshifting. Uh oh, we're almost out of gas. We already did like a couple laps before this one, so... Yeah. Like I said, I mean, this car requires a lot of a uh, throttle input to get it around the corners. Juan Manuel Fangio had said it himself, you steer the car with the throttle. The steering wheel is there to initiate the turn, and then it serves like a fine fine tuning tool. Oh.
Come on, baby. Uh-oh. Ran a little wide there. Nothing to worry about. Again, locking up the rear wheels with the, uh, with the engine braking, engine compression. Okay, so now the uphill struggle begins. Totally botched it. That's no bueno. Oh no. That's bad. That's really bad. And I can live with botching any uh, any corner of the racetrack. Any corner except the carousel. Still here. Oh, holy Jesus, holy Jesus. I'm alive. I don't even know how I'm still alive. I mean, virtually alive. This car just wants to virtually kill you, man. Okay, let's try not to botch this one. Almost there. The fuel situation is getting critical.
three laps, this was the best one. It wasn't the best one, actually the previous one was better, but it didn't count because I went off, off the road. The car was undamaged, but still. So yeah, that's what it takes to drive one of these around this racetrack. I mean, the back in those days, those were men. Nowadays, I don't know, we have a lot of boys in sport. But yeah, this is what made, this is what separated men from the boys. Like you look on Kulin, would say, you know? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.